the three little pigs. A long time ago, there was a mother pig who had three baby pigs. She loved them so much. She used to teach them to always work smart and work hard. Years later, when the pigs were grown up, they came across a wolf while out in the forest. By the look of the wolf's face, they knew he was hungry. So the pigs ran away, each to build a house to hide in. The next day, a big bad wolf came to the part of the forest where he had seen the pigs run. He was hungry and wanted to eat the pigs. He saw a house made of hay and smelled the pig inside. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in, let me in. But the first pig saw the wolf's big paws through the straw and answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, the wolf growled. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf opened his jaws wide and chomped down as hard as he could. But the first little pig escaped and ran away to hide with the second little pig. The wolf followed him and saw the wooden house, smelling the pigs inside. He knocked on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's big ears through the window and yelled back, No, 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 not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf opened his jaws wide and chomped down as hard as he could. But the two little pigs escaped and ran away to hide with the third little pig. The wolf followed them and reached the brick house. Smelling the pigs inside, he knocked on the door and called out, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, let me in. But peering through the keyhole, the little pigs saw the wolf's sharp teeth. They quickly replied in unison, No, 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 not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. No, 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 not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. The wolf snarled, revealing his sharp teeth. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, he roared. He huffed and puffed. He huffed and puffed some more. He huffed and puffed with all his might. But the house stood firm, not a single brick budging. Exhausted, he slumped down, unable to huff another breath. He paused, catching his breath and searching for a new strategy. The wolf wasn't finished yet. He climbed a tree and got onto the roof. He saw the chimney and thought, that's how I'll get in. But the smart third pig already had a plan. He made a fire in the fireplace and put a big pot of water on top to boil. The wolf didn't see the fire or the water. He went down the chimney, but splash! He fell right into the hot water. It burned him so much, he jumped out and ran away from the house. He never bothered the pigs again. The first pig and the second pig were sorry for being lazy and careless. They thanked the third pig for saving them. The third pig hugged them and reminded them of their mother's teachings. They all lived happily ever after in their brick houses. The end.